Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another stream, Facing the Music, number 86. We're so close to 100 streams now. There's probably been a few more, actually, but since I started numbering the thumbnails, 86. Um, I hope you all had a, had a great game week. I'm sure those of you that had Aguero had a really good game week. Those that didn't, unless you were John C, probably not so good. Um, yes, I've had a trim. Be it down here. It was about time. It was getting a bit messy. Um, and the poll last week said to shave, so it's gone. But yeah, we're going to talk about um, game week 27 so far. Um, for anyone that's not watching live, I've done this one on Sunday. I know there's a Chelsea game tomorrow, but... Sunday just works out better than Monday uh, to stream. I prefer doing it on Sunday. Um, and obviously we'll stream again before the next game week starts. So if there is some major fallout from that Chelsea game, we'll discuss it. Uh, am I depressed about this game week? Not really. Obviously, like, <clears throat> the problem is, for me, so I'm on, um, obviously people will be asking the set, I'm on 64 currently, so Salah and Firmino kind of pulled it back a little bit today. But obviously I don't own Aguero or Shaqiri, Milivo Mil oh, Milivojevic either. Um, I could have got De Bruyne, I got Sanchez instead. At least I didn't captain Sanchez, because that would have been a nightmare. So yeah, I'm on 64 with Alonso left. If he doesn't play, I'm actually going to finish on 63 because Francis got minus one point. Um, I'm more depressed about watching Man United today. It was just so awful. How did... How did Sanchez miss that opportunity? Like, it was an open goal. Just hit... He just had to hit it. In hindsight... Two hindsight questions. Why was Aguero overlooked? We'll look at that. I mean, for me... I, you saw... If you follow me on Twitter, you saw me put that video out earlier of my... <laughs> four days before his hat-trick, why I wasn't getting him in. Um, that I had the reasons I even said that I thought he'd been unlucky not to have skim scored more goals but then still said I wasn't going to be getting him in and then it was like okay he's got a hat trick but maybe I can go without him for a bit longer and obviously he gets four goals and I'm still in the same point now same point with De Bruyne I could get De Bruyne in for Sanchez but next two fixtures not necessarily the best but then it's, it's Man City. They're just blowing teams away all season. So I'm not sure Arsenal and Chelsea are right now are, um, are teams they can't score against. I, I'm not down, honestly. Like, everyone gets stuff wrong. Um, I kind of like... <laughs> I don't like getting stuff wrong. But I definitely don't hide away from it. Why would you? Plenty of other people didn't get Aguero too. Those that did are absolutely laughing. Fair play. I remember discussing... Um, Discussing Kane and Aguero after, so not after his, so before this, so basically for the last three game weeks, obviously, Spurs had more difficult fixtures, and I remember um, I said, uh, "What's Kane going to score around two goals, and what's Aguero going to score five? And that's exactly what happened. But obviously, it's devastating when he does it in one game. The worst thing as well was, um, well, not the worst thing. So I think people thought I was being quiet yesterday. I was just busy all day. I was out of the house from half eight till, I don't know, later on that evening. Then I had stuff to do. Then I drove back into town and I had to go out for a meal. And um, so I heard that Sterling scored. So I was like, okay, great. We're off to a good start. I scored a goal. I own him. And then I got to the, I can't remember. I think I got to the bar and I saw it was, it'd just gone 3-1. And I heard that Aguero had scored. I was like, okay, he scored one goal. Who cares? And then, um, and that De Bruyne had scored, uh, had assisted all three. That's what I saw on Twitter that uh, De Bruyne had assisted all three. And at that point, I was thinking, God, I should have got De Bruyne. And then I realised that that wasn't Aguero's first goal. That was his second. And every time there was a TV right next to where I was eating, every time I looked up, it felt like Aguero was just banging one in the net. Obviously. The last goal, I don't know whether Pickford should... Um, Schmeichel should have saved it. It doesn't really matter. It was a great shot. 
but they gifted the third goal. But it was still a great finish, so fair play to that man. He's uh, he's still got it. Let's be honest. the the tough The tough um, question now is, do you get him? I don't know. I'm still a bit wary about getting him. FA Cup will will decide a lot, I'd say. But I've basically I've gone from. So it's 51.5k in game week 22. I cut that in half in 23. And now I'm worse off than what I was in game week 22. So five game weeks later, I've gone backwards. Awful. Leicester were poor, yep. I mean, 5 1. Battered. <laughs> As well, like in my mini league, I've been chasing a guy all season in one of my work leagues. And, um,. When Aguero got that hat trick, I saw he had him captain. I think I've said this before. And uh, I was quite happy. I thought, I've got Firmino. Firmino can keep up with him. I'm finally going to claw some points back. And obviously, then he got a hat trick. And then since that hat trick, I've been clawing points back. And he's and they all got him. And the problem is, Firmino did score, but he's got Firmino too. He's got Kane, Firmino, and Aguero. Now I'm like 60, 70 points behind. You think I should consider a wild card for next game week it's not going to happen I don't think my team is that bad to need a wild card to be honest I'm not convinced people telling me to wild card would, would wild card in the same situation what's my plan for Lingard um, he's got to go what's his midfield well this is where it gets worse because one of them Shakiri. let's see his midfield Shakiri, Sterling, Salah, and Lingard. So, smashing it. You've been out of FPL for a while. Jumped back for a couple of weeks and got Milivojevic, Fernandez, and Firmino. Very nice. Oh, Captain Aguero. Fair play. Yeah, I think I think Sanchez has to go just because of the money. Um, he kind of did what Sanchez does today. He was all over. He was all over. Um, you know, at the pitch, he was trying to make stuff happen. He was working hard. You know, had a good, had a couple of good chances, but he's eleven, he's eleven odd million, and just can't afford to have that in my team. And I knew that when I got him in, because one of the things I thought of when I got him in was Sanchez and Lingard. You can get De Bruyne and Walcott, which is what I was looking at. We'll see. Yeah, Ali Shakiri obviously on the radar too. I'm annoyed. Well, I'm not annoyed about Shakira. I wrote. Well, I didn't write him off, but I just decided they only had a couple of nice fixtures and then not so nice ones. I don't, I don't think I took the blank into account enough with Shakira. But I basically basically made a load of mistakes the last few weeks. Made awful decisions. At least I captained Salah this week. You would think City will start to rotate now. The league is pretty much done. I don't think they will until it is done. Once it's done, then yeah. We've uh, cocked up big time getting Alexi, Alexis. It was the Huddersfield game. Yeah, absolutely, it was the Huddersfield game. I did consider him captain for Newcastle, but like I said on the stream, um, I just could not think. There was no good reason to captain Sanchez versus Salah this week. I think Newcastle and Southampton's home form was pretty similar defensively, but Salah's stats were much better the last couple, as they have been all season. De Bruyne just keeps ticking over. Do I regret I? I have to regret I when Milivojevic has scored twice in a row. Ridiculous the amount of penalties they're getting. Um, yeah, maybe I tried to be too clever with I. I don't know. I looked at the fixtures and, and got him for that. I wasn't. To be fair, I wasn't planning on playing I this week. It's only because he got me the assist that um, that I did. He could turn into. He could turn into just a fifth mid, and I might get Vardy up front. You look like you want to cry. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. Is Crouch my worst transfer this season? Um, oh, I don't know. It's one of them. I could have just gotten the ass and saved money as well. It's really annoying that he played and scored. I regret Crouch way more than I regret Aib. It was basically that week I had two free transfers. That's the week I got Pickford in as well, who's been awful. They were just burning a hole. I just didn't really know what to do. 
So I thought I'd downgrade. I didn't want the ask because there was rumours he was going to go abroad. Yeah, Vardy scored four games in a row. Mark is... Um, Mark must be loving that uh, that move. You convinced me to switch all on Hazard now. Yeah, I mean, Hazard obviously much better than... Well, obviously you know he's... You, or you assume he's going to do better than Sanchez now. Is Mahrez worth a shout? Yeah, it could be. I like... Um, I like Leicester's fixtures. Let's just have a look what they've got. I don't think I look stuff up enough when I'm streaming. I'm trying to do it off the top of my head. Yeah, so it's Stoke at home, Bournemouth at home, West Brom away. Then Arsenal at home, although that's in game week 31, so that might get called off. And then Brighton away, Newcastle at home, but at that point you're wildcarding probably, so. Better choose that money in midfield. You maybe, but Vardy. Let me check before I say this. Okay, he hasn't been getting bonus the last couple. I don't know, he's ticking over though for his price. He's only 8.6. I'd really like Sun back, actually. The problem is... Is he going to keep his place? I mean, he's... He's been playing really well. He's started like every game for like now 12, 13 games, something like that. Yeah, Pogba needs to go. There was, uh, not rumours, but they were talking about the fact he might have had an injury. Uh, they were saying in the, I can't remember what they call it now, but when they go through the press, the press area, um, they were saying like he looked like he was limping for a bit and that he winced. When he asked, uh, answered a question about um, whether he was injured or not. Thinking of getting rid of the sun, he keeps coming off for Lamella. Hasn't been rested. Yeah, you you would assume he's potentially one that's going to get a rest soon. Especially once Moira is in the... Moira? How do I pronounce that? Lucas Moira. You know who I mean, anyway. Um, if I've got the pronunciation really bad, let me know. His son to get rid. His finishing is getting so poor. I mean, he's three tougher fixtures again, a bit like Kane. Alexis was an emotional buy, admit it. I'm pretty sure I said... Every time people ask why I was getting Sanchez, I'm pretty sure I said, but a lot of the time, it was because he played for Man United. I uh, didn't really hide away from that. I even said, you, you guys shouldn't get him in. Great shout on Bauer. He looks good for the price. I don't know if I've mentioned him recently. I saw him weeks ago now. I can't remember what Stoke game it was. In fact, um, it was the Man United game. He was bombing forward. You fancy an out switch again? Don't care about the fixtures. I am... Um, I know. I'm finding it... Um, I'm finding it a bit tough right now, to be honest. I feel like I'm making too many excuses to why I shouldn't bring players in but that doesn't leave me with too many players to bring in like I look at De Bruyne and then the next two for Man City are, I can't remember which way around it is yeah Arsenal away and then Chelsea at home but they're not two solid defences right now um, do you mean Spurs kind of battered them Man City are better than Spurs doesn't always work like that of course but so should I really not be looking at Aguero or De Bruyne? Um, Shakiri again, the fixtures are, I don't know, not great for Stoke, but they play in 31 and he's in good form. I think um trouble is the chance has been justified with game week 31. Yeah, I'm, it's really on my mind, probably too much. I didn't want it to be this this season. Next season we must try to play about United Bias. I don't think... I'm sure you will all do disagree. Um, I don't think I've been too biased towards Man United. Do you know what I mean? I got rid of Lukaku before other people. Obviously, I've got Jones in, but we've kept loads of clean sheets. Yes, the Sanchez move, part of it was because he played for Man United, but it was also a low-owned player who has been explosive in the past, playing against Huddersfield. But do you know what I mean? If it's the fine margins in his FPL, if he doesn't miss that penalty, that's ten points against Huddersfield. Of course, Salah was still the better choice that week, but 
it would have looked okay. And this this week, he scores that open goal, gets bonus. Newcastle, maybe maybe they don't score or whatever. Then it looks an okay pick for two weeks. Looking at the fixtures, is it time for triple Liverpool? Yeah, I'm looking at a Liverpool defender, Robertson, for me, just because he's cheap. I do like Van Dijk, though. I think he's uh, looking 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 good for a goal soon. Although I've been saying that about I mean, Duffy and me for a lot, for a while. Everyone who jumped on Arsenal assets got stung straight away. Look, there was always a chance of that happening. You know, I spoke about it in the videos. I didn't think it was necessarily a good time to bring them in. Just after one game where they did well. Obviously, they missed Ramsey. That was a big... You know, to get injured is frustrating if you brought him in. <clears throat> Your team's looking pony. I take it that means bad. Uh, Mkhitaryan did look really bad. The thing is, I'm kind of focused on game week 31 at the moment because I basically don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, I wanted to stream tonight because lots gone on, especially Aguero. Everyone's going to want to talk about Aguero. Um, but it, once the FA Cup games are finished, I might stream after the FA Cup games are gone, actually, because we will know what's happening in 31 then. And then I think it's a, it's a different conversation. Lingard out for who? I mean, Shakiri. Maybe an Altovic, um, if you've got a bit more money. But Shakiri looks good around that price. I feel like I'm a bit behind the curve on some of these players. But I don't want that to put me off bringing them in. Um, I'm looking at Walcott. Sigurdsson, maybe. Probably still Walcott, though. I had Shakiri as my fantasy item wrist recently. Got him in a bit early. Got an assist, but no goal. What was the question about... Oh, yeah. Do you feel like all the template talk a few weeks ago made you try too hard to avoid it and get in the obvious calls? I don't, I don't think all that talk changed anything, really. Obviously, Anatovic getting injured was what spurred all this on. And because I knew I could get Sanchez in, I felt like I really wanted to do that for Huddersfield. It wasn't really... It wasn't to purposely break the template. It was just... He was a low-owned, explosive player. Like, granted, he hasn't shown that this year. But obviously, it's, it was just a risk. But I don't... I don't think I purposely tried to keep or get rid of the template, to be honest. I, I don't do that. Like, I like... Um, I, I did play on the template a bit because everyone was moaning about it. But... Like I said, a lot of those players I had were high-owned, yes, but I didn't get them when they were high-owned. Do you know what I mean? Why is everyone jumping on Walcott? His game in 31 is away to Stoke. Not exactly an obvious haul. Um, yeah, but at this rate, he might be one of the only players with a game. Oh, God, that's... Uh... Super Tiger, that's like a combo of questions there. How many game weeks before you remove a player? How does price influence that decision? Does a non-blank game week fixture come into consideration? What if underlying stats are still in the player's favour? <laughs> I know I always, I always start the answer to my questions with it depends, but like... It would depend on a lot because price not so much. I don't tend to look at... I still haven't looked at who's going up and who's going down recently. Um, I knew that Anatovic was falling a few weeks ago because people kept talking about it. There's not there's not a spe specific amount of game weeks that I would... I don't think, right, it's three game weeks now, we have to get rid. Like, Lingard I kept an extra week because I wanted the two free transfers and the knowledge from this week um, for the blank. For the blank. So that's why I kept him. But really, I could have got rid of him. Richarlison went because I wanted Arnautovic. If you've still got Richarlison, I don't know. I think there's other things going against him. You know, DFO's come in now. It's like a breath of fresh air almost. Um, he's getting taken off a bit earlier than he was. 
He's not really had a rest with Charlison either. So I'd probably start looking to get rid of someone like him if you're still holding him. But underlying stats, yes, you have to look at them. The eye test is obviously is good if you can get around to watching all the matches, which is um you know, which is difficult. There's, there's so many games play, uh, being played. Stats, it depends. You've got to look at um, you got to look like look at what the players you're looking at bringing in are doing as well. You know, what are their fixtures like? For example, um, oh, I can't think now. But do you know what I mean? Are they not performing because of the fixtures and they've got good fixtures coming up maybe? Or vice versa. Like if someone's not performing and they've got a bad run of fixtures coming up, then I'd be more likely to look at getting rid of them. What for fixture in 31 is not great. Yeah, I thought about that earlier actually. Because they're playing Liverpool. Yeah, not a Salah hat trick. I um, I didn't get to watch all of the game. I heard that in the second half, they had quite a few. He had quite a few chances. Like the for assists or goals, just didn't come. You got six point nine million for a Lingard replacement. I think an Alswich is around that price now. You could look at him. I've always. I'm struggling to see past Shakiri at that price. Um, probably missing someone obvious. I have to have a look in a sec. Yeah, Watford are quite. Uh, they have been quite inconsistent. You're considering Aguero as captain instead of Salah. Uh, I can't even remember who. Have Liverpool got West Ham this week? Let's see. Let me see. Oh, wow. This internet is slow tonight. Hope the stream's okay. There we go. Um, I, I don't even know if I'm qualified to, to answer a question on whether you should captain Aguero or not. Said I've just missed about eight or nine goals from him. Um... I think Salah's a better captain choice than Aguero this week. But I'm, I'm pretty much just looking at the fixture. Not that I, Again, not that I don't think Aguero can score. I just think the ceiling's higher for Salah this week. Don't forget, people. Um, there's four polls. Top right hand corner. Click the little eye. Um, vote on those. Hit the like button if you haven't already. And hit subscribe if you are new around here. Oh, here's Matthew Kearney, bowstring the carp. Well, you're up to fourth now, are you? Did you captain Aguero? I bet you did. You're going for Salah this week. So Matt, Matthew's been using Aguero to get really high up the ranks recently. But even he's saying it's Salah this week. That man's doing good this year. Uh, this year. FA Cup games are sure to bring some interesting changes in our thoughts due to injuries. You hate weekends without FPL. I sometimes like the break. I don't know. Um, it'd, be, it'd just be good to get the info from the FA Cup. I hate the, um, the plan around the blanks all the time. I think Salah will definitely be the highest captain player this week, for sure. I'm going for him again. I'm certainly not looking... I'm not doing a Sanchez again and looking for someone to bring in to not captain Salah. Learned my lesson there, I think. The thing is, a lot of people with Aguero, they're looking at getting rid. I find that crazy. Um, I can see why, because of the next two games and Jesus coming back. But we don't know for sure about Jesus. And before he got injured, I'd have to go and double check. So if someone um, can correct me if I'm wrong first, before I get a chance to check. I think Aguero was starting quite a few games before Jesus got injured. I don't think Jesus was starting that many. Aguero is in such good form. I don't know. If, I know there's a lot of fixtures coming up: League Cup final, Champions League, etc. 
Obviously, Pep's going to really want to win that Champions League, and the league's nearly wrapped up. I don't know. So, Matt, if you had Aguero captain, Adrian Auto sub, very nice. You'll probably be number five. Damn. Uh, you're ditching Alonso, interesting. As part of your mass plan. Are you going to let us know what you're doing, or are you too high up the ranks to let us know? I'm really tempted to get rid of Alonso. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to bench Jones too this week and play Duffy, but that goal is never coming, is it? Yeah, in my head, I'm looking at getting rid of Sanchez and Alonso just for all that money. I'm sure, I could do something good with it. Just not decided what yet. Like for me, if you're an Aguero owner right now. Absolutely perfect because you don't have to get rid of him. And people like me who don't have him, we're in a really hard position because we look at those fixtures and don't really want to bring him in. But at the same time, we've just been destroyed by him again. I mean, 21 points. Not many players can get that in a week. You're thinking Alonso, Chupa Martin, and Quayna to Robertson. Yeah, I like Robertson. A 4.3 in Firmino. So you'd have Firmino, Kane, and Aguero. Nice. And I could probably do that somehow, some way. Um, don't know. In fact, let's have a... I know some people were asking me what I was going to do. Let's have a look. Let me just put the chat back on my screen so I can see it. Kane wants the golden boot. Aguero's getting closer. Kane Hattrick is on the cards. Interesting. If um, I tell you who I'd definitely be looking at if if Danny Rose hadn't just come back is Ben Davis. What do I think about Bamiyang? Bamiyong. Yeah, I've thought about him. I thought about him as kind of a differential for not having Aguero because it's Brighton away and Watford at home after Man City at home. I don't know. They're just such a frustrating team, Arsenal. Like, they're so good against Everton. Everton's so bad, of course. And then so bad against Spurs. And obviously, you've got to take that with a pinch of salt because, do you know what I mean? Playing Brighton is not the same as playing Spurs. Anyway. Sanchez. I should have actually, the last poll, I should have put one up about... Um, Spurs midfielders. I know Deli Alley's been rubbish on the eye test. But what happens if he starts scoring? Try and get him in in advance. Obviously Eriksen's the the highest scorer. I mean that's what I can do with Sanchez and Lingard. Mara is potentially back in the side. I don't know, really. In fact, if we get rid of Alonso for Robertson, we'll probably get De Bruyne as well. De Bruyne by a mile. <laughs> oh, should have got Shakiri before he rose in price. 6.1. Oh, so close. Hmm. That's a bit tempting. I could always get um, Ali instead of Ericsson. That's a very cheap defence though. But I've already, this, one thing, one reason I'm thinking about ditching money in defence is if it all goes wrong, we all know where the wild card is, right? But obviously all this as well depends on Game Week 31. Jones' last three games has a grand total of zero. Yeah, it's not been great. <clears throat> yeah, Sun obviously is an option, but I don't know. Uh, scroll down, see money in the bank. Okay, hang on. You have to excuse the yawning. I had a couple of friends over last night, and 
I was up until 4 a.m. A little bit hungover today. Although feeling okay, considering. Six million in the bank, so point one off getting Shakiri. I mean, that could be worth an eight point in itself. I don't know. Hmm, have to think on that. Actually, I'll tell you who I could get instead of... Well, I don't even necessarily need to get rid of Vibe, to be fair. What about Stanislas? Did he pick up an injury? Mm, where is he? don't think he did. 5.9. Uh, two goals and two assists in the last four games. He does get taken off quite early, though. Shakiri not a priority. I get, yeah, I don't know about priority. Oh, Shakiri a priority for Stoke. Has it come to that? Yeah, I want to target Spurs fixtures because I think a lot of people will be slow getting on them just because their teams are doing so well in other places. Yeah, I, I know about Sun. I know people are saying Sun in the chat. Sigurdsson, the ultimate differential. Not limiting income into guaranteed blank gaming. Yeah, again, this is all, you know, speculation based on info I don't have yet. Yeah, the fixtures do put me off a little bit for Shakiri, but at the same time... The, the man's playing well. Or he's getting points, at least. Uh, just show you stats. Um, like a quick look. They're not bad. Oh my God, Salah is so ridiculous. So sterling, to be fair. Jeez, if you're... Um, do penalties count for expected goals? You can afford Shakiri if you do crouched in the ass. I know, but that's another transfer then. Can I try Firmino? Is that Firmino to Aguero or just having Aguero in my team as well as Firmino? I don't think I'd get rid of Firmino, by the way. Where's Aguero? I, I really don't see any reason to get rid of Firmino. Unless Aguero is going to keep banging in four goals. Is De Bruyne due a rest? I don't know if De Bruyne is ever getting a rest, to be honest. Look at this. That is incredible scoring. Eight in four games. Disgusting. <clears throat> so how many points is that? 38, 46 in four games. What did, what did Firmino get, my man? 24. Mm, half the points. Ugly. 6.6 million. Oof. Don't like the look of that. But if you get rid of Alonso... Maybe. Can you even get Walcott? I don't know. Yeah, no, Firmino's been good. Just Aguero's just been out of this world. Yeah, no, David, I yeah, Ali definitely a consideration, but Ericsson's the man. Had Ericsson early in the season. Really good to me. Ali just... I don't know what his stats are like. I can have a look here. Wow. He is not shooting on target very often. Um, the problem is with Ali. He really does not pass the eye test. Now, again, I didn't see... I saw some of the Arsenal game. I had to... Had to go driving... So I don't know what he was like in that game, but in the previous games I've seen him in recently, he's not passing the eye test at all. 
Shakiri's had five attacking returns in 15 games. I know, but he's had a lot of them recently. Ali should have scored. Okay, fair enough. It was lucky I didn't start Francis. I was a bit annoyed when me lost his clean sheet. I was thinking I should have probably started Francis then. But nope. Anatovic passed the eye test with flying colours. I mean, Anatovic should probably be a shoe in if he has a game in 31. If you want a Spurs midfielder, you have to go, son. He looked the most dangerous. Get Ramsey. I mean, Ramsey's injured, though, right? So we need to find out what's going on there. Will you transfer Alonso if he scores tomorrow? Very hard to take out Alonso if he scores, but... You know, sometimes you've got to try and get ahead of the game. Shakiri's had three attacking returns in the last four and gets good bonus. That's true. You prefer Firmino and De Bruyne instead of having Aguero. Yeah, but I mean, I can have Aguero and Firmino. Son hasn't done anything in four games. Yeah, but the last three games were tough enough. Pickford to Carrius. I actually have a draft team where I have Carrius and Robertson. And Aguero. Good week for me. We will know more about the blank game weeks after next week's... Oh, sorry, after this week's... Or whatever, whenever they are. After the FA Cup fixtures. We'll know lots more. As long as there's no replays, we will know... Who's... Um, Who's playing who's not in Game Week 31? Did I get a green arrow this week? Definitely not. Red arrow for me. These moves mean more... <laughs> Those moves mean more hits down the road. They do, and do you know what? I need to take some more hits. I think I've taken enough this year. What I'd be interested to know is, for anyone that thinks I should wildcard, who is an absolute must that I need to bring in on a wildcard that I don't already have? Bear in mind I have two free transfers. Assuming Aguero is still at City next season, his price will be interesting. You have to be close to Kane, I guess. They're probably still... We'll see what happens with the Golden Boot and who gets brought in. Maybe City bring in another striker. Um, you'd, you'd have to say he'd be close to Kane. You need three Liverpool players. Yeah, I mean, that's a shoe in I'd say. It's just when you do it. We can predict the results of the FA Cup matches to get an idea of who blanks. We could, yeah, but, like, for me, that's, like, a lot of... It's not that much work, to be fair, but... I mean, you could then discuss around that what moves you'd make, but then all it takes is an upset and everything changes. Do you know what I mean? Let's say Man United or Man City or Arsenal don't have to play in the next round and they're not going to blank in 31 that's game changer how's it going Jamie you actually made a stream 96 of Alonso to play you think Sanchez, Crouch and Lingard should definitely go but again depending on if I'm going to stick to 3-5-2 then um then Crouch is not a priority to get rid of because I'm not going to play him anyway. If you walk hard, get Elliot out and bring Lossel in. So you can rotate goalkeeper. Again, though, but that's not like... I don't think that's a huge priority. Uh, by the ass, yeah. I, I don't... Well, yeah, wildcard, I think that's uh, what's so easy to say for someone else's team. I don't think anyone who had my team would wildcard. None of you saying to wildcard would wildcard this team if, if it was your team. K 
keep Sanchez one more week. Someone did tweet me that actually. They said, um, "Why are you taking Sanchez out before Chelsea? Like, who are leaking goals? If West, if even West Brom put a few past them away from home, do you know what I mean? I'd be tempted to keep him. But then, what do I, what move do I make? I've got two free transfers. I don't have the luxury of uh, burning transfers with somebody uh, with the blank game which is coming up." Got two clean sheets from Carrius and Van Dyke. Oh, ultimate differential. Two Liverpool defenders. When talking about the blank game week the last year, you didn't mention you had Pickford. Yeah, I know. I always forget about the goalkeeper. Keep Alonso and swap out Jones. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I got Swansea in game week 32. West Ham can be a clean sheet. Crystal Palace, maybe. Liverpool and Chelsea, fair enough. Not ideal. You think Aubameyang's going to get 15 goals for the end of the season? Hmm. Easy to say Sanchez could score against Chelsea, but they couldn't score against Newcastle. True, but Chelsea are worse defensively. Double up with Van Dijk and Karius means not being able to have both Salah and Firmino. Not a good choice, in your opinion. Hey, look, the man's going for the ultimate differential. I love it when a good double up on defence pays off. Yeah, Vardy definitely worth considering with the fixtures. He's scoring in those easier fixtures. He's got Arsenal. I, I would not hesitate playing him in that game. The Duffy goal will come in a double game week when no one has him. Could do. I mean... A goal scorer like that, if you need a cheap defender, that's the kind of player you probably look at. Unless there's a good, cheap guy from somebody who thinks he's going to keep clean sheets, of course. And you might, if not though, you might um, you might look towards the goal scoring defenders. United could not blank in 31. No, you'd still get rid of Pogba. <laughs> it's only one game week versus the rest. Yeah, I'm trying to, in the back of my mind, I've got that thought that I don't want to destroy my team based on one game week. I can already see I either getting dropped or just getting continued less minutes and just keeping him anyway, and then he doesn't get me anything in the bank. In every team, do you have do you have to have one five million max player you expect to buy? You don't have to. Play. I call that like um, bench fodder, like your fifth midfielder or your third striker, depending on what formation you're playing. I like to play like that. I like to have as much money. Um, on the pitch as possible. We don't have to do that. I mean, if you've got a better player there, then you've got more options potentially. But obviously you weaken your team elsewhere. Play me or Jones next week. I'm tempted to bench Jones and if I keep him. Um, and risk it for someone like me or Duffy. Look at Liverpool's clean sheets. Fixtures are there for the taking. Liv I saw a good stat on Liverpool. They conceded like 39 goals in the last 38 games. I don't know if that's Premier League or not. Um, by the way, it's an average of just over one a game. It's the best run under Klopp. And I think only Man United this season have got more clean sheets than them. And they got nice fixtures coming up. And the game with 31 fixture is Watford. So a Liverpool defender is definitely on my radar. Is getting rid of Alonso reasonable? Oh, I, I don't know. Alonso exit or whatever fancy name people will give it. That could be as that could go as bad as maybe not as bad, but nearly as bad as getting rid of Kane for a double hat trick. You, you basically you're going to have to decide. Do you think Liverpool are going to? Sorry, Chelsea going to keep up this bad defensive form? Um, and are the fixtures that bad that you have to get rid of him? See you later, Adam. Cheers, tune in. And yeah, as Fozzie says, Alonso likes playing against the good teams. He has a good record this year for points over clean sheets or attacking. Adios, Alonso. I like it. You have to get that trend in. Hmm. 
Knowing Watford, you'll probably go and beat Liverpool at Anfield after losing to Everton and West Brom. That could happen. Hmm. I've lost my video. Oh, Fozzie, you think Aguero is chasing points? Did you say the same thing after the hat trick? Look what happened there. Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of Aguero from here because I'll get lynched otherwise. I mean, look, this is something I could do. Straight up, job done. Two free transfers, 0.6 in the bank. Okay, fixtures, but Everton. Hmm. Jesus, Shay, chill out. Do you believe Alexis Sanchez is your captain? I don't know what you mean. This is the thing, though, Joe. Everton away form is worrying. Okay, so I don't get him in. Man City's fixtures aren't great, so I don't get him in. Shakiri fixtures about to dry up. Don't get him in. Like. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm at the moment. I'm making too many excuses for not getting players in, and no, no, um, no good reasons to bring in any players right now. But I, I feel like I'm just, I'm stagnating. I'm just dropping. I don't have an answer for it right now. The article of Fantasy Football Scout summarised the Aguero situation well. Which one was that? You had Aguero but got Salah captain. That's really not the end of the world. <laughs> I wish I was in that position. Uh, my rank's like 52k or something like that. Yeah, I'd like a Spurs defender for the upcoming fixtures. Ben Davis, yeah, looks good. Um, but yeah, Danny Rose is back now, so we don't know how much of a part he's going to play. Especially with Champions League on the horizon. And don't Spurs have, like, Juventus or something ridiculous? Very tough. The Aguero goes big article. Don't think I read that one. Scout notes, I love looking at it. Not right now. Yeah, Van Dyke or Robertson will be an interesting one. Obviously, Robertson is the cheaper option. Quite attacking, at least on the eye test. Um, is Moreno going to get back in? You'd assume probably not, but maybe he'll get rotated at some point. Van Dyke's more nailed on, but more expensive. But also, does look good for a goal, I reckon. Do I think watching Match of the Day more would help? Yeah, I mean, I usually record it, even if I don't watch it, like, right now, like, tonight or whatever. I usually record it. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure Robertson's mostly nailed on at this point, but there is Champions League and stuff. Sanchez is a huge waste of time, I agree. Poll results. We'll do the polls in... I don't know, about 10 minutes. So yeah, if you haven't already, top right hand corner is little eye. Make sure to click that. Mkhitaryan in next game week. Potentially, I mean for me, I'm really looking at Ramsey. I want to know if he's back. It's a shame he wasn't fit to play Spurs because it'd be interested to see how Wenger fit him and Wilshire in. 
I'm still hoping to hold the wild card till game week 32, 33 time before the double game week. Yeah, I, I get like it's it's annoying if you had Aguero and you didn't captain him, but if you captain Salah and you had Aguero, that is not the end of the world. Am I going to get Aguero in? I'd say it's very unlikely, to be honest. I mean, I've had bad um, bad experiences in the past trying to be clever when it comes to getting an attacker in, but I'd almost be tempted to get Aubameyang before Aguero at the moment. Bit of a differential, maybe. I still want to try and... Oh, I, the blank game week's doing my head in, actually. I want to try and wait so as close as possible to make... The decision, because obviously the closer you are, the more info you've got. But you can't sit around not making transfers for the next few game weeks. But yeah, Bamiyan. I don't know, that's just like shooting for the glory, I guess. It's not the most sensible move to make. But the fixtures are okay after Man City. If most of your team was playing in the double game, would you think your wild card wouldn't be as effective? Uh, yeah, for sure, but I don't know, it seems unlikely. There'll always be someone you want to change around. Like, you're going to want two goalkeepers for bench boosts. There's probably better, cheaper defenders you can get. Injuries up until that point. Wasn't it about this time last season you got Mawson in? I don't know what game week it was. I think it was around game week 26, actually, maybe. It was whenever they played Leicester at home. You got a clean sheet and a goal and three bonus. Yeah, to what, this time last season, loads of my decisions, they just went really well. Uh, this season, is finding it tougher, to be honest. Yeah, Jones could be a potential to get rid of, but... I, I'm, like, I'm not in a rush to get rid of Jones. May not get a clean sheet, you don't own one, you're, you're in trouble. A little bit of trouble, not major. Yeah, no, I pointed out Mawson. Um, did I do a gif of Mawson recently? I'm a big fan. He's one of those that always, always looks dangerous in the box. They're always aiming for him. Sigerson has to be considered over Walcott. For sure, yeah. Obviously a bit more money, but might be worth it. How many points do I have? Uh, in total, I have... Well, this week I've got 64, and overall I've got 1586. You remember holding Rondon for eight game weeks last season just because he didn't like. Ouch. How many hits would I be prepared to take this week? Probably an eight pointer would be the max, really. Unless I can do something amazing for 12. If, you know, I'm going to keep saying this this stream. If the blank game weeks work out where there's a couple of good, good teams, or sorry, a couple of teams with good options in 31. That right now aren't like I don't know. Let's say Arsenal play or whatever. Then maybe I'll take a bigger hit, restructure, and get like a Bam Young in and just go for that differential early. But then if they're suddenly not options by thirty-one, you're then taking more hits to get rid of them. You might fall further behind this uh, risk, risk, uh, risky move. Maybe risk versus reward type thing. You've gone from a hundred k to six hundred k in three game weeks. Wow. That's a big drop. But you can't have done that bad. That that must just mean that there's still quite a few points. Oh, sorry, not many points um, separating the lower ranks. All my chances are going to be with Game Week 31 in mind. Is that a stupid plan? It's not like... I wouldn't say stupid. you got to keep it back in mind. That's what makes good FPL managers good. They 
think ahead of time with stuff that's going to change their thinking, change what players we're looking at and stuff. But um, all I would say is hold on to we know what's going on in 31 and then you can have a rethink because you don't want to completely rule out players that you think are going to score well over the next few weeks because... I don't know, let's say someone's got three really nice fixtures in between now and the blank game week, and you think they're going to score big. You get them in and they score big, then obviously your rank increases. Yes, they might not be any good for the blank, but you've just earned a load of points to spend on hits. So, I know, I mean, I will, without even thinking about it too much, think of game week 31 quite a lot. But we're going to know so much more soon. There's around 50 points between 200k and 700k. Wow, that's not that, uh, really not that much. I don't know what it's like usually, but I can pass these as well. It doesn't seem like very much. Yeah, as James says, Tottenham are a good example. They've got Crystal Palace away, Huddersfield at home, and Bournemouth away before the blank game. I personally want one of their, uh, one of their midfielders. Uh, triple captain will be in the double game week, either 34 or 37. I have to wait and see what the options are. How's it going on the deal? Uh, game week was ru rubbish, to be honest. 64 with, 64 with Alonso to go. All right, yeah, we'll do the polls now, uh, or in a sec. You've got one more minute to vote on the polls if you haven't already. Um, let me refresh. Oh, this takes so long. Yeah, we've had about nearly 250 responses. So if, if you haven't already, click that little eye, vote on the polls. We'll do them in two minutes. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't already. be much appreciated. Trying to get up to that 100 before the stream end. And subscribe if you're new around here. Yeah, we're on 73 likes. If we can get up to 100 soon, that'd be awesome. How is your Wi-Fi? I'm using the phone. It's really good. I think Sanchez and Lingard are probably looking like the most likely out of transfers this week. Lingard especially just looks poor. He keeps getting taken off early now. I mean, Mark said on the Scoutcast, we don't have many options, which is true. Uh, it would mean playing Matter from the start. So maybe he'll keep starting, but he just looks rubbish right now. I wanted to go back to that Spurs. You know you should be going for Spurs mids, but you want to go with a new mid to freshen the season up. What do you mean a new mid, though? I mean, not, not many people have Spurs mids. I don't think. Like, when I, you know, when people are posting their teams on Twitter and stuff, they generally don't have a Spurs player. Yeah, I could go Spurs mid instead of De Bruyne. Uh, stream's been going an hour. Oh, a midfielder you haven't owned yet. Okay, fair enough. Which Spurs defender is the best? Um, I mean, if you guarantee starts, probably right now, Vertonghen. Or Davis and Sanchez, I suppose, but probably Vertonghen for me. Uh, Robertson's about as nailed as you're going to get, I think. He, uh, sure, he may get rested, I don't know, around um, Champions League and stuff, but you'd think he'd get his rest in the FA Cup, if, uh, if anything, maybe Mourinho will play. Although, haven't Liverpool got a tougher fixture in the FA Cup? Let's have a look. Uh, God, someone's going to tell me before I find it. So, Southampton, they got Porto. Oh, no, they're out of the FA Cup, aren't they? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm an idiot. So, he's not going to get a rest then. Well, he will get a rest because they won't have to play. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just I was trying to find the fixture there. I thought, hang on, can't see it. What an idiot. Yeah, Rose has been injured. That's why Davis has been playing. 
Jamie Kay, controversial, but I've transferred out Sterling for a 0.6 value loss. That's only a loss if you want to bring him back in. Otherwise, you're looking good. Um, you believe City will drop off now? Why now, though? What's suddenly going to happen? Yeah, I mean, Anatovic did exactly what um, what a lot of people wanted him to do. Straight back in, sh scored straight away. He was in fantastic form before he was injured. Um, obviously, fixtures not as good as they were before when we first got him in, but... You know, for that price, 6.8 million, I think that's a good deal for an ad switch. I'm dropping in price tonight now. Yeah, that was an awful mistake with Liverpool. You got knocked out by West Brom, right? As long as there's no, as long as there's not a re, uh, replay from the next FA Cup game, you'll find out the definite blanks after. Sorry, before the next game week, before game week 28. Yeah, no, an out of it should look good. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely not disagreeing. Luke, you're, you're one goal off winning 58 grand. Ouch. Frustrating. Uh, let's do... Let's do the polls. I, I personally, if you take out Sterling, that's like one of those, almost like a glory move. If you can successfully predict that now is a good time to take out Sterling and it pays off, then you look like a genius. But for me, he's just, he's still ticking over with so many points. That I'm personally not looking at taking Sterling out. Yes, Spurs fixtures are good, but Man City are just so good no matter who they play. Um, yeah, let's just have a quick look over West Ham fixtures because I remember looking at them before when that last switch was back. Yeah, it's Liverpool away, and we've just said Liverpool's defence is pretty good. Swansea away, Burnley at home, May United at home, Southampton at home, Chelsea away. They're not ideal, to be fair. Yeah, I, I know you did, Jamie. You said just a minute ago. You feel I've been highly unlucky with Pickford now. I really thought he was getting a clean sheet this week. Just, ugh. Milivojevic just knocking in that penalty. Uh, yes, Wes, I'm probably getting him out of my team. <clears throat> okay, we're doing the polls for real now. I picked for got a penalty save, honestly. It would have been ideal, obviously. It would have made the it would have made the um Pope to pick for move not look as stupid. Okay, 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 I'm bringing them up, bringing them up. I didn't even know about the penalty until later on. Uh, honestly, I, di I didn't see it catch any of the football yesterday. Super busy. Okay. What to do with Aguero? So, this is kind of, should you buy him if you haven't got him? Should you look at selling if you have? Is it a kind of don't buy, don't sell situation? So, we have nearly 300 votes. 68% say don't buy, don't sell. So, those who got him, don't get rid of him. He's been in such good form, he could carry on. But because of the fixtures and stuff, people are saying don't uh, don't buy him. So don't sell, don't buy. I thought that would probably come up on top. And then it's a draw for the other ones. 15% for both. 15% um, say you should look at buying him anyway. And 15% said you should start looking at selling. Uh, Salah captain for the rest of the season. 66% said yes, they want those points. With only 33% saying no, you want to try others. I couldn't fit in too much text there. I wanted to put... Um, no, I really want to believe there's going to be other options. But obviously, Aguero's done well in the last four weeks. but And Kane's got nice fixtures coming up too. But still. You shouldn't have put don't buy and don't sell together. Kind of dumb. 
And I don't think so. I mean, don't buy, don't sell is quite a common phrase in the FPL community. I mean, Baines used to have, don't buy, no, what was it? Don't, don't captain, don't bench. No, I can't remember now. Um, are you wildcarding before game week 32, 33? 58%, so just more than half, said no. 21% uh, of you have already used it, apparently. That's higher than I thought it would be. And 21, 20%, uh, sorry, said yes, you're using it before. You'd recommend buying, but not selling. Okay. Yeah, so then you click the buying one, the other option. I put that down as an option. The, the way I thought, the way I would, or the, the way I, my thought process for that, those answers were, if you choose the buy an option, that means you're also saying don't sell. Um, game week 27 scores on the doors. 35%. Got 81 plus. Fair play to you. You must all be Aguero owners and say, yes, we've seen we've seen big scores where players didn't have Aguero this week, but a few and far between. 31%, 71 to 80. So that's over 66%, or that is 66%. They got at least 71 points. So fair play. Big scores this week. 18%, 61 to 70. That's where I fall, unfortunately. 11%, uh, 51 to 60. And 3% of you got less than 50, apparently. That is uh, devastating. No, I'm not far off. Right, people. You've dropped from 4K to 350 to 400K. Ouch. Surely that's not this week, though. <laughs> Can't be doing that bad. Mark only got 55, dropped from 22k to 45k. Oh, okay, I can't be that far behind in that then. Anyway, that is going to be it for tonight's stream. I would love to carry on. There's a lot of people watching right now. Nearly 400 of you beautiful people. But one of the reasons I started early today instead of half nine was so that I could get off after an hour, um, which is what we usually do, and get to bed because at 4 a.m., last night and I can't do it anymore I'm too old um, so yeah gonna leave it there if you haven't already appreciate a thumbs up give a give the stream a like um, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here that let you know when the next one's going live keep an eye on Twitter for um, when the next one will be I haven't quite decided I'm tempted to stream straight after we know the the blank permutations for game week 31 especially if there's like a big upset or something which um which will make things super interesting otherwise there'll be one just before the game week as always but i might do one in between this time after the FA cup we'll see uh no promises so yeah like comment share subscribe all that good stuff i will catch you soon cheers off tuning in really appreciate it. it's been a a busy one tonight um, but yeah, after the cup games will be my aim. But as always, we'll play it by ear. Twitter, follow, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm off. Thanks all.